All right, so I, I had a problem. Uh, I'm so excited that I fixed this that I wanted to make a YouTube video. Hopefully it'll help someone. But I had a problem a few weeks ago. I hit a sandbar and I got all kinds of, of sand in my motor and my uh, Mercury Pro XS stopped peeing. And by that I mean the water discharge here, it stopped pumping out. And so my motor would overheat after about five minutes of, of use. Um, and obviously that's dangerous for it. So I'm not very mechanically inclined, but I did enough research to try to figure out what the problem was. And um, I figured I needed to flush the motor out. So what I did, um, I did, like I said, I did, what, did a lot of research. I went out and bought some muffs and really tried to flush this thing out myself. But I knew I had found the problem when I took this cap out. And this is a 2011 uh, Mercury Optimax Pro XS. And uh, I knew I had found a problem when I took this cap off and there was so much sand in here that uh, I, I knew that had to be the issue from when I hit that sandbar and it probably had sucked up so much sand. I don't know if you can see real good. I'm gonna try to zoom in here. All this sand came out of the unit. And like I said, this is the, the pee hole and there was nothing, no sort of water discharge coming out. So I took this cap off, took my, took my hose, screwed it in here, left it in there for about two and a half to three minutes maybe. Probably should have left it longer and um, you know, just to make sure it got a good wash out. But I was so excited to see, I bet you that fixed it. So <clears throat> I took the hose back, put the, put the muffs back on, cut it, cut it on and it really still wasn't quite there. It wasn't quite to the point where uh, uh, there was water was bubbling out of here. It was very, very, very slow. So what I did next is I took a piece of let me see if I can find that actual piece. I took a very small piece. This will work with any kind of like cable or or thick wire or anything. But I took a very small piece of wire and I stuck it into this pee hole. And after about a few minutes of doing that. I mean, it was it was like Niagara Falls. I mean, it started pumping again. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Now I do not, like I say, I, I don't consider myself mechanically inclined at all, but I do do a lot of uh, do-it-yourself kind of stuff. And, uh, and as you know, boat mechanics or, uh, you know, boat maintenance guys are very, very expensive. So anytime you can do something to, to save yourself some money and, uh, do things yourself, it'll help you in the long run. I fish a lot and fishing is very expensive. So anyway, I can cut corners. That'd be great. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flush it out. I'm going to let it sit here for a solid five minutes. And again, you can see all of this sand that was inside the unit. So I'm gonna, actually, I'll show you how this works. But I'm going to actually hook the, hook the water hose back up into this intake spout. And we're gonna let it sit here and run for a good solid five minutes. It's really as simple as just putting it in and screwing it in. All right, water is back on. The motor is not on, as you can tell. And with everything hooked up here right, you can see she is now running again. There's no sand, I mean, it's pure clean water coming out. So I'm gonna let it sit here for five minutes and do this. And I feel a lot better knowing I can't wait to get this back on the water now. And uh, let's see if this would help. Like I said, I was having overheating issues because I hit that sandbar and it had sucked up so much sand, the water flow just wasn't there. So, I'm really, really, really happy about this. Um, like I said, after about five minutes or so, the engine would, would start beeping at me. The Guardian system would start beeping. A solid 
a solid beat until I actually cut the motor off. I'd have to let it sit for a substantial long time and then I'd have to idle back to the boat ramp or is what happened to me. So anyway, um, that's that. So I really hope this helps somebody. I scour the internet to try to look for some help. You know, I don't have a Mercury Marine manual, uh, boat manual or anything like that to help me. So I, I found some little bit of information on Bass Boat Central and some other websites. And so I hope this can help someone. But it's probably a good idea to do this every so often anyway, a few times a year. Especially if you're fishing salt water, you know, flush it out, flush everything out. And this is the way it's supposed to look. So I'm really, I'm really happy about this. I'm really happy that I was able to resolve this. I'm ready to get back on the water now. So, hope this helped. Thanks.